Welcome back, this is Magic Dad bringing you another episode of Shadowrun Returns Dead Man Switch. Well, last time we found out that there was another victim, so. Uh, oh, they're arguing about me com coming in, the detective, so we're gonna talk with Shannon here. That man is a butt. She stares daggers at Mikulski across from across the warehouse. But there's no help in it now. I should just be grateful you were able to collect the items before those clods carted everything off. Can we still summon the spirits? Not from here, I'm afraid. Spirits such as these have domains to which they are anchored. We have to get back in there. Not looking good now, but do you have any plans for this evening? A little breaking and entering, perhaps? Co under cover of darkness? You sure you're up for this? It may be just a rabbit hole, but I have to get to the bottom of it. Or if it means your brother's killer, I like that one. Thank you. Now since uh, we have the time, we should probably enlist some help. They may post overnight security. I'm going to go out on limb and say you know where to find the kinds of people we need. You could say that. Good, I'll put up the money if you find the bodies. She produces a fistful of crumpled Nguyen from inside of a leather pouch. Starts to count it out, then shoves the whole wad at you. Meet me back here at midnight. The spirits will be strong then. Okay. Return to the seamstress union. That's what I'll do now. As you start to leave the warehouse, the com your calmly chirps in the face of Coyote pops on the screen. Hoi, MD. You in the middle of something? Just getting tricked around by Lone Star, same old thing. I hear you. For Josseth, I don't know if I ever told you this, but I was born in the Royal. BTL pushes like Stevie J ran the, uh, the squats. Ran up my, my world when I was growing up. I remember. She looks really received. Yeah, relieved. Whiz. I have a cousin, Gina, who's been missing for months. He hit the sprawl about a year ago and immediately fell with, in with some twe uh, tweakers, bad guys. They hooked them on high amp dream chips and uh, started using them for all sorts of breath. I tried to help him but he pushed me away. Then he disappeared. I've been shooting at BTL labs ever since, trying to find them. So I'm guessing you got a new lead. It's not a lead. Her face lights up. She's running hot. She has a serious edge. I know exactly where he is this time. Got an old friend who eyeballed him herself. I'm on my way. Paco's with me, but we could use another hand. You in? Uh, I need you right now. I'm on my way. I'm gonna go help uh, Coyote. She's a good friend. Or she's a friend. Okay, so... A cluster of dilapidated buildings where Coyote told you to meet her appears to be the remnants of a public housing project. The buildings look like a cesspool filled with human debris. You find her standing with Paco on a street corner, eyeing the roofs and the, uh, the doorways. Despite her attempts to engage her, Coyote barely says a word as three of you weave your way through the tenants. She walks purposefully, her new cyber arm and hand flexing open and closed with each step. It's unclear whether the action is voluntary or not. You circle around the back of the building and Coyote jumps up, grabs the bottom rung of a fire escape ladder and pulls it down. Without a signal, she starts her climb towards the roof. Paco looks at you wordless, uh, worriedly and st starts up the ladder. Okay, we're going to continue this. Thanks for meeting us, Sven D. I owe you one. No sweat, I figured you could use the backup. Yeah, you never know what sort of firepower to expect in one of these PTL squats. Oh, hey, listen, I got new good news for you. You know Sam's sister, Jessica? One of my contacts found her for me while you were on your way here. I called her and asked her to meet you at the Union later today. Hope that helps. Good job, thanks. She looks at you, her scarred face soft. soft. Least I can do. All right, let's get this done. My cousin Gino should be here in one of the squats past the door up ahead. I hear there's a whole lab set up there. From my experience, there, there's usually a lookout watching for cops outside and a guard on the door inside. Like I said, I don't know how much firepower to expect, but these guys are nasty, so stay on guard. I want to get in, grab Gino, and get out. 
Right behind you, babe. Now let's do this. Okay. PTL Clocker. The orc looks twitchy, his eyes rolling in his head. He scans the three of you, looks past to see if there are others, clicks his uh, lips, nods throughout as if going through some sort of internal checklist. Hoi hoi, how you doing? Good day for trip, ain't it? She leans in, whispers in your ear, disguise a clocker, trades work uh, time for chips. Part salesman, part lookout, probably has a signal device for the guys inside. You want to go on a ri ride? What kind of rides can I go on? Well, we got it all. We got it all. Yeah, what you want to do? You want to do some crime? You want to do some bad? We can hook you up. Don't do roll that way. Want to be a hero? Be a hero. We got a fairy tale, direct tremors, love. You name it. And you can slag and frag till your heart's content. That's the real thing, right? Uh, slagging and fragging? Don't matter what the trip is as long as there's slagging involved, right? Coyote's eyes are hard. Her pupils tight like little print picks of hate. You do stuff too. You do snuff too, don't you? Yeah, maybe, maybe. For the right price. You can feel it. What's it like what it's like to die, what it's like to kill. Just let me in. I'll see you around after this. Probably see you lots. Okay. Cornered woman, our concerned woman. Let's talk to her. The woman is probably in her 30s, but hard times have aged her. She looks at you with concern. Don't do it, friends. That uh, slot, uh, don't slot that drug they're selling. BTLs are killers. Theirs most of all. Sound like you know from experience. She pulls her hair back to show you no implant. Then her mouth tightens and her eyes well up and stay at tears. I do. I know. I lost my husband, lost my son, lost my daughter. My daughter. They use her to record. Do you have a pass card to get in there? No, but Jamal has my son. But my, Jamal has my son's card. Took it off his. Took it off him when he, his brain fried. Jamal's down the hall. Don't know if he'll get, give it up, but that's between you and him. What kind of guards do they have on this place? They're serious. This place is backed by Yakuza. Oh, lovely. Japanese Mafia? Oh man. How many what kind of firepower? There's a guy in that corner, Charlie. He sells the passes to get in. He's not tough. Blind in one eye. There's another five or so wandering around. Two of them are bad news. Covered in magic symbols. Mean. She's amped. Ready. Five or six? That's not so bad. Well, when we have surprise on our side. Any chip heads on the lab? Inside the lab? Yep. All day. All night. They can be dangerous too. Chip heads dangerous. Some, once someone's chip, they can send them any program they want. Make them do whatever. Turn them into whores, killers, anything. Looking for a kid named Gino. Know him? Who doesn't? He's here all the time. Gino's a clocker. Trades his time for chips. Like their little errand boy. I saw him go in there just this morning. He hasn't come out, so I imagine he's riding a dream chip. Gotta go. Okay. Charlie. Need a pass? 50 million each? 150 for the lot of you? I'll let you come and go as you please. You can chip in there and we'll keep you safe while you ride. BTL chips are separate will cost. About last about three hours. Prices vary, but buy those inside. I'm going to do this. I want to take a look around first. If the selection's good, we'll give you 200 on our way out. Yeah, sure, that math works for me. See you on the way out. Jamal. Jamal has the look of a long-time chip head. Heard you have a... What you looking at? Heard you have a pass card. You're right, I got a new one. Uh... I got a few. I sell them at a discount. Charlie charges 50 new yen for them, but I can get you three. I'll walk away. Because I got him for free. He's going to turn my way in. Okay. Let's take a look around. 
The entire floor of this tenement has been uh, given over to a chaos of technology and squalor. Across the room, a chromed out decker argues loudly with an armed thug. Abruptly falling silent as they turn towards you, the shotgun wielding thug squeaks in panic. It's the crew who took out Stevie J's place. I told you it was only a matter of time. Yakuza Decker, the man with the cyberdeck calmly speaks with a heavy, digitized voice. You mess with the wrong BTL lab, a whole. This is a Yakuza operation. With the push of a button, I can make these tweakers into my own personal killer puppets. You're fragged. MD, don't attack any of the chipheads. Uh, they don't know what they're doing. And you could hurt Gino. No civilian casualties, got it. I have a concussion grenade, but better to, than fragging the tweakers if they get caught in the middle. Okay. Let's see if I can do it this time. Dang. Go take some cover. Coyote. Took out that, that operator. Which I finish her. No, I didn't. Okay. Ow. Oh, no, no, that's not good. Oh, crap, I didn't want to shoot that guy. Yeah, get him away from me. Ouch. I'm almost dead. I will die in a moment. I don't like this. Okay, good. I'm, I'm up. Can I drop this guy quickly? And we go over here and get some cover. Or we'll separate. Confirm to reload. Took him out. And she's almost down. Oh no, she's not yet.
Get in there. One more shot, maybe. Get to that BTL computer, okay. They won't attack us anymore. Okay. I just turned them all off. Yay, I got, uh, I don't let any of the chip heads die. I succeeded in that. Gino. Yay, okay. Gino. You eject the BTL Gino's been riding. He gasps suddenly, his eyes flutter open, he looks confused. Worse than any of the other chip heads you've seen. His lips are white chapped, his eyes sunk into his head, there's vomit on his shirt and sweat on his forehead. When he speaks, his words are slurred. He's burnt. What? what the hell? Who slotted me out? Who fragging slotted me out? Highly shaken, she's looking horrified. Gino, it's me. It's Carla. Gino looks at her with glazed eyes, no recognition. Slot me back in, goddammit. This is BS. I don't want to be here anymore. Slot me back in. He looks around the room angrily. His hand reaches for his implant. Coyote grabs his wrist, stops him. Gino, no. Coyote, be careful. Gino wrenches his wrist from Coyote's grasp and he staggers back, reaches under his shirt, pulls out a gun. Coyote watches him horrified with tears in her eyes. Gino waves it around blind, uh, wildly. Back off, just back off. Take it easy, Gino. We're backing off. Your brain burnt, kid. Uh. Take it easy, Gino, we're backing off. He presses his hands to the side of his head, his fingers still on the trigger, squints. What is wrong with the, you people? We're trying to help you. This is the way you help me? Look at this place. Look at me. He looks around at the squalor of the room, then glimpses his own reflection in the machinery. Oh God, look at me. Those chips aren't reality, Gino, come with us. It's real to me. I can smell it, touch it. I can uh, friggin' taste it. It was... I was God in there. King. I was a king. Can you imagine it? He looks around the room. Sees a squalor. The body stink. Glimpses at his own pitiful reflection in the machinery. No, 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 no. Kylie shows something, but it's too late. Gino jams the gun into his data jack, pulls the trigger. There's a pop. Barely a gunshot, and it's gone. I'm sorry. Sorry, Carla. I'm so, so sorry. Kylie looks to you, tears in her eyes. I'm not stopping, not now, not ever. She looks at Paco, then back at you. A real rain is coming to Seattle, and it's going to wash the scum off the streets. I'm going to burn down every uh, fragging BTL shop in the sprawl until they're gone. Every one. Oh, well, that was. That sucked. But I'm going to call it, uh, call that episode here. So if you're enjoying this series, once again, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time when Shadow or for more Shadowrun returns.